Hello everybody. So we're looking at um, the coordinate plane a little bit more and we're looking at 6 point NS.6B point reflections and this starts on textbook page 397. So you've already looked at page 396 um, cut and paste that I've done. Now we're going to look at 397. All right, and we're talking about reflections now. So we've talked about, um, oh, no, no, no. Okay, hold on just a second. Here we go, sorry about that. So reflections on the coordinate plane. So let's read what this says. It says that you can use what you know about the number lines and opposites to compare the locations on the coordinate plane. And so consider using the number line and coordinate plane below. The number line shows that negative 4 and 4 are opposites, which we just talked about in class, that when we have a number that's an equal amount of spaces from 0, it is the opposite of the number. Now what they're saying is that if I were to put the, if I were to make this into a coordinate plane, okay, seriously, I can't draw a line then we'd have a line going through the zero here and this would be the y-axis and this would be the x-axis and we're saying that this is equal distance from the y-axis on either direction. So this coordinate plane over here shows that the points negative 4 comma 0 and 4 comma 0 are the same distance from the y-axis. Okay, going back to my little number line picture here that I made myself and it says notice that the y coordinates did not change and the x coordinates are opposites. So when I'm reflecting across the y axis, my x coordinates are opposite. Okay, so what we want to write down for this, and let me go ahead and find a clear paper here, we want to write down that when we're finding the reflection Let me write this and come back. So when we have a reflection across the y-axis, the x's are opposites. Okay. So for instance, just randomly I'm going to say if it was um, negative 2 comma 3, the reflection for this would be positive 2 comma 3 because the x's are opposites and then the y's just get to stay the same and that makes it a reflection across the y-axis. So looking back at this picture, our x's are, the, are opposites and our y's are the same. Okay? Alright, so let's look at another example where now we're going to talk about going across the x-axis. So this is where we have an ordered pair that's reflected across the x-axis. So now this is the line where they're reflected across. So what you notice here is that our x values are the same, but our y values are the opposites. So if it's reflected across the, okay, if it's reflected across the x axis, then the y's are the opposite. So we've got negative three and negative three are both our x values, but now we're going to talk about our y values being the opposite. So this time reflected across the x-axis, we have y's that are opposite. So here's another example. If we had the ordered pair um, 4 comma negative 2, then the reflection would be 4 comma positive 2 because the x's will be the same this time because it's across the x-axis but the y's are the opposite. So because it's reflecting across the x-axis, x's get to be the same, but our y's are going to be opposites. All right, so here are some examples. I want you to make a real generic little um, number line, or I mean uh, coordinate plane like I did, where you're going to have your x-axis and your y-axis numbered through five each direction. So up positive five, to the right positive five, down to negative five, and to the left negative five. And we're going to figure out what the reflections are across the x-axis. So pause the video now, and I want you to build that up and make those points. And I'll come back and I'll show you the answers. All right. 
So the first one we have is one comma four. So I go over one, go down negative four. So this is my point right here in red. To get the reflection across the x-axis, I'm going to go to the one and then up to positive four. And those, as you can see, if that was a mirror in the middle here, those would be mirror images, right? And that's across the x-axis. All right, the next ones I'm going to do in yellow, and we go negative two to the left and up to positive five. Oops, went to the wrong one. There we go. All right, so that's our first spot, negative two comma positive five. Now to go reflection across the x-axis, I'm going to go over to the left, negative two, but now I'm gonna go down to negative five. And if you can see, pretend this is a mirror, you see that there's a um, beautiful reflection of the yellow dots. Now we're gonna use purple dots for the last one. Negative three comma negative one, so negative three to the left, down negative one. I'm right here. I'm reflecting across the x-axis, and so over negative three, and this time up one, and I see my reflection across the x-axis. So very quickly, if it's a reflection across the x-axis, the x stays the same, the y is the opposite. Again, across the x-axis, the x stays the same, the y is an opposite. The x stays the same, and the y is the opposite. Across the x-axis, the x is the same, the y is the opposite. All right, so let's check out another example. Here they say Kendall is building a square fence, and she places fence posts at the locations indicated on the grid. What is the location of the post that reflects negative four comma four across the y axis? So across our y means our y is going to stay the same. So I know my y is going to be positive four and my x will be the opposite. So positive four. So again, across the y axis, my y stays the same and my x will be the opposite. This is my x comma y. Remember, the y is always the second number. It's really important for you to remember. Um, all right, so this example is going to be for you. So Kendall also places a fence post at negative four comma negative four. So what is the location of the post that reflects across the y axis? So now you're going to apply what you know and give me that point. Pause the video and do that now. All right, without even graphing anything, hopefully you just knew that if it's across the y axis, that the y stays the same and the x is the opposite. And so your point should be four comma negative four. All right, here's some more examples and these are just real simple. It says fill in the graphic organizer below. And so I want you to draw this and then um, come back. So pause the video for just a moment. So for opposite of negative three, hopefully you remember that the opposite of negative three means it's the same distance from zero, the opposite direction, which makes a positive three. When it says that the point negative three comma two is reflected across the y axis, I know that my y will stay the same and I'll do the opposite of x, so that'll be three comma two. This time it wants us to reflect that same point across the x axis and you're welcome to use a graph if that's helpful for you. This time across the x-axis, the x stays the same and the y is its opposite. And so negative three comma negative two. Here's some more examples. So go ahead and pause this. This is more of a review of quadrants. So I'd like for you to pause this and test your knowledge. Pause the video. All right, so A, first of all, the first thing I would have done if I drew this I would say this is Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. Now it's just a matter of plugging and chugging. A is in box two. B is in box two. C is in box three. D is in box four. And E is in box four. It also wants the ordered pairs. And so this is a little bit harder. You'd have to have counted this. This is one, two, three, four, five. So A would be five comma, and we'll go up one, two, three. Oops, oh, sorry, and it's negative five because these are negatives to the left. Negative five comma, negative three. 
and then, ooh, my ding dong. All right, then for B, we went over negative three, and we went up, let's see, positive five. Then for C, we went over negative five, and we went down negative two. Sorry, now my lines are getting screwed up because I didn't make any arrangements here. All right, so then for D, um, we're going to have negative three comma one, two, three, four, five, positive five, because to the, oh, I'm such a silly. All right, sorry. It needs to be, eek, why can't I go back anymore? There you go. It needs to be positive five, because it's over, and then down, and that's negative three. And then for E, it's over two and down one, two, three, four, five. So that's negative five. Sorry, I'm very important, obviously. All right, so let me make sure I did those right. It was over and then up and then over and then up and then it was over and then down. Okay. Just making sure I got the other ones right before I was paying attention to what I was doing. So it's really important, guys, that you always remember that when you're making your ordered pairs, it's X comma Y. So it's going to be over and then up or down. Okay? You crawl before you stand. You run before you dive. You do the moonwalk before you fall on your butt. You do the moonwalk before you shoot up to the moon. I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with side to side and then up and down stuff. All right, guys. Well, that is, um, yeah, we won't do that one. Oh, I don't know. Do we want to do that one? I know you're all like, like no, it's already 11 minutes, Mrs. Eccles. Are you did it? Oh, okay. Write in the ordered pair that represents the reflection of the point J. So J is right here, and I'm going to go ahead and just write that J is negative 4, comma, positive 2. Because now I know I can do a reflection. Reflected across the Y axis, the Y stays the same, and the X is the opposite. Y stays the same, X is the opposite. All right, so this would be that point. All right, guys, for reals this time, it's done. All right, have a wonderful day. I'll see you in school. Bye.